people. So this video is about printers and scanners and I have some very strong opinions about printers and scanners but I don't have a particular brand that uh, I think is better than any of the others. Um, the opinion that I have about printers and scanners is that toner printers are far superior to inkjet printers. And the reason I feel that way is because, at least for me, I don't print very often. I print maybe 10 times in a year, um, and it always drew, drove me nuts when I would want to print something and the ink was dry. And then it became this mad dash to try and find a replacement cartridge for the dry ink. And it never failed that it became this thing where it was more expensive, like in this case here, is more expensive to just buy a new printer than it would be to just get a replacement ink cartridge. And it, it, this happened to me over and over and over again, and it got, it just drove me nuts. And because every time that you get a new one of these, you have to install a whole new printer on your computer, and then you have to like install the software that comes with the printer so that it, you know, all these little gizmos and gadgets and stuff that come with the printer work correctly. And, and it was just such a hassle. And especially since it was happening, you know, at least once a year. You know, you just, you constantly having to replace these uh, ink cartridges. And so the solution that I found was to do toner cartridges. So instead of getting any of these inkjet printers, if you were to get a toner um, a printer, you avoid a lot of problems. Just tons of problems right off the bat. They're a little bit more expensive, but what you get for a little bit more expensive is a just a much more reliable printer. Toner does not dry and it lasts a lot longer than ink cartridges do because of the sheer size of the toner. And um, so what ends up happening is that like you you just install this and then it it stays. And I go through a toner cartridge probably once every five years or something like that. I've had, I actually, the this version of the, the printer that's on the screen here, I, this is actually very similar to the version of the printer that we have. Um, I think this is like the next version down and I bought mine somewhere around five years ago and um, maybe longer than that. Jeez, has it been that long? I don't know. Um, I've had to get one replacement toner cartridge, which was, I think, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. For this, so like the toner cartridges are much um, cheaper, I, I think. But even then, like the chances of you needing to get another toner cartridge with one of these guys is super slim uh, because you just, I mean, unless you're printing a lot. Now, the big advantage, disadvantage of having a toner printer like this is that you can't print color pictures or color whatever. But I've found that in, in cases where I want to print photos, the stuff that you get on an inkjet printer is garbage anyway. It's just not a good quality of, of print. And so what I'll do is I'll go to like Walgreens or something and they, they, you know, they can print you, uh, your photos in like four by six sheets for something like 15 cents a sheet or 10 cents a picture or something like that. And you can just do it straight from your iPad or from your computer and just send it straight to your, like your local Walgreens you know, and then there's also services that you can use where you just go onto a website and they send you your photos in the mail and it's just a far superior quality. Now there have been situations where I needed something that was color printed, but time sensitive. And that was a really tight, tight spot. But I think that that's like one time in a, maybe 20 years that I've gotten into that spot. Um, and it had to do with Matthew and his, uh, 
it was like a class project for him or something like that. And then what ended up happening is that I just ended up going to Walgreens anyway um, to get it done. And it was, you know, it was like a, on a photo paper, but they didn't care. It, it was just a color printed thing that, you know, they printed like it was a photograph. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. So um, Stella said that you needed, you wanted a scanner and a printer. And they make scanter, scanner printer versions of this stuff. And uh, like this right here, this is the exact same printer as this one up here. They use like all the brothers printers. They all use a um, the exact same toner cartridge and they're super easy to set up, super easy to use. This one even actually has like a multi sheet thing that you, you may need, you may not need. But this really isn't a lot of money um, when you consider the fact that this right here uh, from a toner perspective will last you many, 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 many years unless you're just printing like crazy. Um, so like something like this would be um, a really nice thing for you. Um, this is an earlier version of the one that we saw up above uh, and it's just a little bit cheaper, but it's still perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, as far as like resolution, it's most of the time it's better than an inkjet printer because there's no printer head that's moving back and forth. Um, it's the, the resolution of the print is as fine as the laser that's being used to etch the stuff. So it's, it's super, super good, um, good quality printing. Um, here you go. This is kind of in the middle of the ground. So if you didn't want a multi-feed thing, but you wanted to have a, a scanner, um, and you, you know, didn't have a, and, but you wanted to go with the toner. This is, this is what I would recommend is something like this. Um, and really all I did was I just went on Amazon and went toner printer and just started scanning down. Um, the, the thing that I always look for when I'm looking for a product is I just look at the reviews, specifically the number of reviews that are there and then the, the stars. And it gives you an idea of like, okay, well, is this a good product or is this not a good product? And that's all I ever do with any of these things. 1800 reviews. I mean, in 67% star, five star rating, that's phenomenal. Um, what you want to try to avoid is when it's something like a lot of ones and a lot of fives, but nothing in the middle. Um, but like, even then, like you've got 5,000 people that, you know, have looked at and purchased this product. And so you really don't have to spend a lot of time reviewing and going, Oh, I don't know. If, is this good? Is this, is that good? You don't even have to necessarily look at like consumer reports or anything like that because you can just sit there and go, oh, well, you know, this is a very popular product and so it's pretty good. Um, I, I don't have a, like a, um, a preference as far as um, what, uh, uh, like a brand, um, wireless versus wired. It, it doesn't matter that much because um, what ends up happening, especially with like the wireless ones, is that that wireless functionality it's always inconsistent. I mean, unless you're going to be getting um, a, uh, a like these, uh, unless you're going to be getting something that's like an an Apple um, printer hub thing, which they actually make that you can like plug into the back of these so that you can make it wireless and whatnot. Um, it, you know, it it it's it works inconsistently. But that's basically for all brands of printers. There's no you know, HP's and Samsung's and, you know, uh, aren't any better or worse than a brother printer. Um, you know, as far as the wireless connectivity is concerned, um, what'll probably end up happening is that, um, you know, the, and, and every single one of these, it has a, uh, like a sleep timer. You turn this thing off. Um, so like, unless you're doing wireless printing all the time and you keep this thing plugged in and turned on, all the time, um, it's going to shut off and the wireless thing doesn't turn it on for you. So like you, you're going to have to basically plug this into your computer and turn it on every time that you use it, you know, the handful of times that you actually use it in a year. And so like the wireless, I, you don't worry about it that much. Um, and oh, on that same note, every single one of these has its own piece of software. Uh, and it's a, it's a software where they're like, oh, you need this in order to use this printer. 
and I say no. Um, I, on my computer, I don't install the Brother software. You don't have to install, install the Brother software, even to use the scanner function. There's, um, there's software built into your Mac so that all of this stuff, you can use the whole thing without installing anything. And whatever brand, whatever style, whatever fits your budget, whatever you want to do, I can walk you through exactly how to use it without their software um, and we'll be able to set this up. But the thing that I would recommend for you is to just literally come over to Amazon, say toner printer. I mean, you can do an inkjet printer. I'm, I'm you know, if you decide to go with an inkjet, then, um, you know, more power to you. But whatever kind of printer or sc printer scanner, whatever that you want, just come on over here and, and just have it delivered straight to your house. And it doesn't matter what it is. I can walk you through um, installing any one of these remotely um, without a whole lot of issue once we get your uh, computer to you. So, um, oh, here's a here's a toner cartridge. I guess it was a more expensive, 53 bucks. But, I mean, when you consider how long these last versus, you know, regular inkjet, Oh, okay. I'm just recording the video for your mom. Okay. That was Stella. She's going to watch TV. So anyway, um, yeah, so I mean, it. this is really not that much more expensive than like what ink replacement stuff costs, but this doesn't dry out and um, it lasts a lot longer because there's a lot more toner in here versus like the itty bitty black ink cartridges that they have. And black's the one that you use the most. Most of the stuff that you do is in black and white. You're just printing out documents or whatever. So um, so yeah, just hop on Amazon and, and, and peek around and pick something that you think that you like. And if you want me to give you my two cents, you know, you can just um, send me a link. Um, you know, you can do this on your, um, your iPad, you can just click on any one of these. And then, um, you know, there's usually an option over here somewhere. Where, where is it? That says you can share it. I don't remember. I, I know it's here. I just, oh, I guess you can't do it on here. But, um, but you know, you can just send me the URL, um, the link for wherever this is. Or you can just, you know, copy the model number and send that to me. And if you want my two cents, you know, I can take a look at it and, and you know, tell you what I think. But, I mean, you've, you've probably got a good idea of what I already think about all this stuff. So, um, good luck and let me know how it goes.